always healthy and safe while you are studying, my dear students. Halika't samahan mo ako at pag-aralan natin ang Module 6. For today's lesson, we will be discussing Theories of Evolution. At the end of the lesson, you are expected to explain the occurrence of evolution. Let's get started! Learners, magkaroon muna tayo ng short activity. All you have to do is to identify the following pictures. First, Is it uniformity or variation? Ta-da! Correct! It is variation. Next. Adaptation or selection? Tama ang iyong kasagutan. Adaptation. And for the last part of our short activity, is it fact or theory? Mahusay! That is theory. Good job! Alam ko na handang-handa na kayo sa ating lesson. Noong nakaraan ay napag-aralan natin ang ibig sabihin ng evolution. It is when species change over time. O ang pagbabago ng mga namamanang katangian ng mga organismo sa paglipas ng mahabang padahon. Since ang topic natin ngayon ay tungkol sa theories of evolution, Remember that theory is an idea about how something in nature works that has gone through rigorous testing, through observations and experiments designed to prove the idea right or wrong. So sa Tagalog, ito ay teorya kung saan maaaring isang iminungkahi na paliwanag na kailangan pang isa ilalim sa masusing pag-aaral. What is Theory of Evolution? Theory that all living species have developed as a result of changes in their genetic material over time. Are you familiar with him? He is Jean Baptiste de Lamarck. He was the first evolutionist to believe that organisms change over time. Naging guide ni Lamarck ang paggamit ng fossil records. That's why he was able to develop three theories. And those are the theory of need, the theory of use and disuse, and the theory of acquired characteristics. Let us discuss each theory of Lamarck. Number one is the theory of need. It says here that organisms change in response to their environment. Naniniwala kasi si Lamarck na sa simula pa lang, may iksi na ang liig ng mga giraffe. Ngunit, dahil sa kailangan nilang mag-survive, ginamit nila ang kanilang liig upang maabot ang matataas na puno at makakain. Nagkaroon kasi ng kakulangan sa pagkain that time. At yan ang theory of need. Next is the theory of use and disuse. Organs not in use will disappear while organs in use will develop. Makikita sa larawan ang dalawang giraffe. Ayon kay Lamarck, simula pa nung una, maiksi na talaga ang liig ng mga giraffe. Inapply niya ang ikalawa niyang theory which is use and disuse. 
Kung mapapansin ninyo, sa unang giraffe, hindi niya ginamit ang kanyang liig. So definitely, this will disappear. But because of the need to survive, and in order to reach tall trees, they kept stretching their necks. As a result, the neck had gradually grown longer. The third theory of Lamarck is the theory of acquired characteristics. Acquired characteristics were believed to be inherited by their offsprings and propagated by the next generation. If you will notice in this picture, na-develop ang leeg ng giraffe at sa paniniwala ni Lamarck, ang acquired characteristics ay maipamamana sa susunod na henerasyon ng mga giraffe. Dahil dito, ang leeg ng mga giraffe ay mahahaba. At iyan ang theory of acquired characteristics. Pero meron na akong ilang katanungan sa inyo learners. Kapag ba binago mo ang kulay ng iyong buhok, sa palagay mo, mamamana ba ito ng magiging anak mo? Or, if a young lady keeps on using whitening soap and becomes fair, mamamana na kaya ng magiging anak niya ang bago niyang karakteristik? Dahil dito, maraming scientists ang disang ayon sa theory ni Lamarck. According to them, if there were changes in cell or body structure, there could be changes in the genetic information of the species. I know that you are already familiar with Charles Darwin. He proposed the more popular theory of evolution based on natural selection. Darwin developed the idea of natural selection. He published his famous book on the origin of species that signifies the survival of the fittest. Actually, learners, Alfred Russell Wallace proposed that evolution occurs because of the phenomenon called the natural selection. Pareho sila na sumulat ng idea nila about natural selection which contributed to Earth's evolution through the survival of organisms. Balik tayo kay Charles Darwin for his Darwinian theory. According to him, originally, magkakaiba talaga ang haba ng lieg ng mga giraffe. Makikita nyo dito na may maiikling lieg, may kitamtaman, at may giraffe na mahahaba ang lieg. Magkaiba talaga sila ni Lamarck ng paniniwala. For the next picture, natural selection favored the survival of giraffes with longer necks that could feed on taller trees that were available. Ang giraffe na ito ay hindi na nakasurvive dahil wala siyang kakayahan na maabot ang matataas sa puno para sa kanyang pagkain. And for the last picture, only giraffes with longer necks survive. And that is according to Charles Darwin. Fifty years later, after Lamarck's theory of use and disuse, sinagjust ni Charles Darwin ang theory of natural selection. Pagkatapos niyang maglayag sa Galapagos Island in HMS Beagle, namangha siya sa iba't ibang uri ng organismo habang siya ay naglalakbay. Naobserbahan niya ang mga finch na maliliit at may katamtamang laki. Minsan tinatawag ito na songbirds. Dito sa larawan, makikita ninyo ang iba't ibang tuka ng uri ng ibon na ito kahit same species ito ng ibon. Yan ang naobserbahan ni Charles Darwin. What is the theory of natural selection? It is the process whereby organisms better adapted to their environment tend to survive and produce more offspring. The theory of its action was first fully explained by Charles Darwin and is now believed to be the main process that brings about evolution. 
Ang theory of natural selection ay kung saan ang organismo na naka-adapt o nakaayon sa kanyang kapaligiran ay definitely makakasurvive. At dahil dito, sila ang may kakayahang magparani ng kanilang mga anak. At yan ang theory of natural selection. Halika't alamin natin ang iba't ibang uri ng finch. Sa Larawan, meron tayong sampung uri ng finch dito. From vegetarian tree finch hanggang large ground finch. Nahahati ito sa tatlo. Tinatawag na tree finches from vegetarian tree finch hanggang wood pecker finch. Meron din tayong warbler finch at from cactus ground finch hanggang large ground finch tinatawag na ground finches at hindi pa dyan natatapos iba-iba din ang kanilang bill pero teka may pagkakaiba ba ang bill at beak? wala learners mas ginagamit lang ng mga ornithologist ang bill kaysa sa beak sino naman ang mga ornithologist? Ang mga ornithologist naman ay ang mga taong nag-aaral or expert sa mga ibon. Balikan na natin ang iba't ibang uri ng bill. Meron tayong parrot-like bill, grasping bills, probing bills, at rushing bills. At dahil nga magkakaiba sila ng bills, iba-iba rin ang kanilang kinakain. Meron tayong fruit eaters, insect eaters, cactus eaters, at seed eaters. Ang fruit eaters ay ang vegetarian tree finch. Ang insect eaters naman ay from large insectivorous tree finch hanggang sa warbler finch. Ang cactus eaters naman ay ang cactus ground finch. At ang seed eaters naman ay from sharp big ground finch hanggang large ground finch. At iyan ang iba't ibang uri ng finch. Wow! Learners, let us study the five key points of natural selection. Number one, we have overproduction. It is when species produce younger than will survive to reproductive stage. Next is variation. It is the differences in traits of organisms in a population. The third one is competition. In order to survive, the organisms compete for food and space. Number four is adaptation. It is when organisms change in ways that help them to survive. And for the final key points of natural selection, we have speciation, the formation of new and distinct species in the course of evolution. According to Charles Darwin, selection also takes place in nature, specifically selective breeding. Say for instance, Farmers identifies and selects the best and desirable trait to propagate. Pipili in a farmer kung alin ang pinakamagandang trait sa population na ito. And after niyang makapili, ito na ang kanyang pararamihin. Definitely, ang magiging population number 2 ay same ng trait na kanyang pinili. At iyan ang selective breeding. Always remember that in natural selection, environmental factors promote the survival of the fittest and eliminates the less fit. Let us have a short comparison between the Marx theory and Darwin's theory. For Lamarck's theory, characteristics are gained, lost, and modified to suit the environment. While for Darwin's theory, it is all about the natural selection. Learners, 
Let's have a summary of our lesson. We have discussed the theories of evolution. First, the Lamarck's theory, the theory of need, the theory of use and disuse, and the theory of acquired characteristics. And for Charles Darwin, we have the theory of natural selection. And we also enumerate the key points of natural selection. Sana ay marami kayong natutunan ngayong araw, learners. Magiging masaya kaming mga guro kung patuloy kayong magsusumikap sa pag-aaral. Now, kindly get your module and do the learning task. That's all for today, learners. I hope you learned a lot for today's lesson. Enjoy learning because science matters. Good day!